let's send out some Twitter messages and get the stream going. Yeah, so uh, also welcome to the people on YouTube. Um, oh yeah, there we go. And that's it. Okay, so uh, I just got out of bed <laughs> at 12.30, <laughs> I don't know. Um, and I, I did some sketching beforehand. Um, because I dreamed of a, a scene that I really liked. <laughs> I don't know. I, I actually dreamed about uh, walking through a city and there were like lots of really nice places. But um, there are a couple of scenes that got stuck in my head. So I want to get one of them out. Um, and that's what we're doing right now. Let's see. Uh, we can just drag and drop, I guess. Uh, this one. <coughs> yeah, so this is uh, kind of a scene. So you're standing like in a street and there's this one building that sticks out of the side. Maybe there's a bit more space around it. So it's like little um, place. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, and there's essentially light shining onto that. And that's like the, the main focus of the scene and there's trees and it's all overgrown and um, kind of post-apocalyptic, uh, even though the dream wasn't really post-apocalyptic, I don't know. <laughs> Dreams are just uh, messy, so we don't uh, stick to that too much. But yeah, just go for creating a nice scene. <laughs> I guess I will just do uh, the blocking part and then uh, eat some dinner or something because, yeah, haven't eaten anything today yet, so uh, it's probably something I should do. But I just, yeah, I don't know. I just want to start with something today. So we form it. Um, think about this. I think I will go with a square. Can still change this later on, even though that's not uh, that great. There are two ways we could do this from like person's perspective or uh, from the perspective of like you standing on a balcony or something. But I think I will I'd rather go with a person perspective. Let's get um, human metric in here. We'll probably have a bunch of these, so let's move them into a new layer. Um, just so we have a sense of scale, I guess. Also, we can like position the camera properly using them and stuff. So, it's really handy. And this should be a bit bigger and a bit far further away, I guess. Kind of like that. Let's see. Um, we need some buildings. Hey, Raccoon, how are you doing? I'm pretty fine. Uh, a bit hungry, <laughs> but uh, I guess I will make some pasta in a second. So not too bad. I don't know, should we uh, think be higher or lower than the buildings? I think it was kind of lower, so might even scale this down a bit again.
my mic is very soft. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I guess <coughs> I don't have this um, the, the proper noise protector yet. Um, like, uh, yeah, the thing you use for like preventing you getting like pops when I uh, laugh or breathe or anything. So I just have a piece of foam in front of it <laughs> right now, uh, which works um, fine, I guess. But of course, yeah, it, it dampens the sound a bit. So that will be fixed when I get the proper one, I guess. Stockings, yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'll just wait for the the right one. Um, let's go into solid view mode here and get some get a nicer viewport. I don't know. I just also so we can see uh, where stuff is located from above. I don't know. I I guess that's one of the most useful parts of ambient occlusion. <laughs> So you can actually uh, see where stuff is located. Even though that's a bit weird. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. <coughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Uh, one second. Let's change the uh, stream title. Uh, random street stream. There we go. And in English. Thank you. Let's reload the page and check if it changed. Um, I am actually working on a scene I dreamed of. <laughs> I had a very vivid dream tonight. So um, I was walking through a city, a, a really nice city. It was incredibly nice. There were uh, lots of great scenes that I um, try to remember while being in the dream. <laughs> and uh, this is one of the ones that uh, got stuck, actually. Um, yeah, let's see, is the stream title changed? Uh, it hasn't changed for me, is it changed for you? Let's type it in again, random street scene, creative, English. Well, I guess it's fine. Um, is this the Blender version I have? Uh, Filmic on? Let's check. I was right in color management. No, okay, then let's reopen this one with Filmic. Um, 
fully. Yeah, that was a typo. Anyways, doesn't matter. <coughs> yeah, kind of. Um, I woke up. Um, I kept thinking about the idea because um, if you start sketching right away, you probably lose it. So you need to, to keep memorizing it. Um, until you're pretty uh, safe with not losing it and then you can start sketching. That's what I generally do. Um, yeah, so I was just laying in bed and sketching. <laughs> Um, there we go. Yeah, and this this picture on the side is actually what I like sketch down in the end. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Filming. Change some render settings so it is as performant as possible. Of course, yeah, these are just preview renders. I guess I can change it to just four tiles and increase the sampling to about 64. That might be enough. Yeah, sure. Uh, all the details changed. Um, like I, I remember the general layout of the scene. I remember the general feel of the scene, um, and that's it. Like nothing more than that. But. Um, that's that's enough uh, for for the inspiration I need, and it's it's better than losing the scene entirely. So I guess it's fine. Let's see. Or we uh, will have some trees on top to block the light coming from above. But still, uh, this road needs to be changed so that we like can pass through properly. Might even need a higher angle. So let's try this. No, so not perfect. Right, that's kind of what I was going for, but let's reduce the I don't know, maybe we can even get a normal light. A wider lens, like 60 and then zooming out. Wall 60 might be a bit big.
Let's see. Let's give this guy a real color. color and maybe apply some basic materials so we can get a feel of the overall lighting. Probably change the color scheme though. Um, which I also wrote down on the uh, concept thing. Um, just because it's too generic, I think. Also, it doesn't fit the feel that I'm going for. So, yeah. Let's block some more light. <laughs> and you think it's worse? Yeah, that's true. Let's let's try that. Um, yeah, that looks better. Uh, I don't know. I actually want want to have this feel of height, and you don't get that if the camera is parallel on or at ninety degrees on X, X. Um, because if you start looking up, you get a better sense of height. Which isn't that good for some architectural visualization, but uh, artistically it's um, quite fine. I 
at least it always worked fine for me. The street isn't really narrow enough. to change the lens width again. Let's move even closer to the I think I will switch to square again. Just somehow works best. Uh, the bones are just for scale. Uh, just a quick reference. I feel like everything should be higher. Looks too flat. Yeah, it's on base contrast right now. I had it on very high uh, a second ago, but
this looks about right to me. The sky should almost be white though. Because if you're in a like a street scene like this, the sky is very blooming and bright from above, so let's maybe change the strength of that to like a really high number. Maybe we need to fake it um, <coughs> instead of a custom sky color. Yeah, see you in a second. Also wanted to be picking out way less. Uh, let's do this in default view mode. Oh, also I can enable a QI press. If I have it anywhere. Uh, yeah, okay, let's use screen cross keys then. thing is, why is this box in front of the keys? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> like it would be great if it was um, behind it, because then I could just set it black and you would always see what I'm doing. But in this case,
Yes, so this way we can control the sky color without having too much environment light uh, coming from the outside, which is exactly what I want. Let's add some more elements in here. Maybe like a small kiosk thing or something. Or there at the side. Give it a different color. So this house should have here And the main tower should also get some stuff up on the side. Let's do some more details. This is still blocking, but um, sometimes some detail help to figure the blocking out a bit better. Let's also um, introduce some roofs so we get some different colors in here um, to play with. Again, the color scheme will probably change because I don't want to go with a generic red. Um, green one. I actually want to do something um, that introduces purple, I guess. But I'm not sure of anything yet, so. Everything might check. close but
that one actually power. Okay. Hello, Michi. Okay, let's actually uh, change the color scheme right now. Um, to get some different ideas. Just trying out some different color schemes. I guess we will find one soon. I really like how full make lets you work way more with uh, right uh, light reflections and indirect lights and that sort of stuff. just because uh, the way it works with the higher dynamic contrast um, can really play with light and shadow. Kind of like it, but it's not perfect yet. This seems to work good. Let's see. Guess this is the color scheme we can uh, keep working with and then change it in the end and tweak it and all that. Let's actually move all the
leads to a different layout as well. So we can hide one. Let's render them. So concerned about this one though. Could we just delete it? Has it seen work? I guess it isn't too bad. Like we could also lower this one. Kind of has the same effect. Oh, I don't really like this wall being that bright, uh, which I can't really prevent, can I? Because I have something over here. Should drop a shadow, right? For example, if I start hitting these. light angle a bit steeper. Uh. Then no light comes through. <laughs> uh, wait. It also looks kind of nice. Second, let's run this out. Oh, okay. So I would need to make it even steeper. Which is fine because then it looks a bit more like sunlight, I guess. Let's create something here. Yeah, now we are moving closer to what I want.
looks a bit too open though. Let's try to add something small here. Should cast the uh, shadow. Yeah. Into this edge. And make it a bit more interesting, like it's not entirely lit up, but it had some shadows as well. Let's also do this to like close that gap. Now that looks nice. Okay, this is pretty much exactly what I wanted. Yep. So I guess I earned myself a uh, dinner. So we will do a break here, like for an hour or something. Then I will probably keep working on the scene and try to make something great out of it. Uh, yeah, see you then.